We've got ourselves a wild situation today. We had a fair bit of rain last night and it's actually washed a bit of gravel into the pool and it's blocked one of the main uh, drains that circulates through the pool up to the pump and the heater. Uh, so it's putting too much pressure on and we've had to shut it off. We need to keep this pool at 28 degrees through winter, keep him warm enough. I've actually got to dive into the pool, it's in the deep end, uh, try and unblock this drain uh, whilst avoiding Elvis, who's almost five metres long and half tonne in weight, saltwater crocodile. I've got the crew here uh, behind me. They're going to be watching my back. Obviously, this is really dangerous. If I'm on the bottom and Elvis starts coming around, I'll have no idea. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get Jake to come over and engage Elvis um, and move him around to the other side of the pond where him uh, and Imogen will keep an eye on him. Mitch is going to get the rope on me and uh, Hayley's going to be over here uh, sort of looking between myself and the croc to make sure there's uh, everything's gone to plan. What we're going to do now is we're going to throw the rope on me uh, and then I'm going to mask up. So pull that tight, Mitch. Mask up. He needs to be submerged yeah. when I go in. Um, he can't be sitting up on the surface like that because he's going to spot me as I go into the water. So Jake, if you swing past, even use his stick to push him back into the water a little bit. We need him on the bottom. Yeah, gently push him back. I need to know if he pops up when I'm in there, all right? Yeah. Uh, if he looks over and sees something's going on, he's going to get really excited. Mitch, you want to follow me around his head? No. All right, everyone's in good positions. Radio. yo. There was two teeth in the drain. That is wild. I'm going to go back down for one more dive. Get the last of those rocks out. He's still over there, eh? Still looks good. Coming round me. So, up to the bottom there, and um, there was two teeth stuck in the actual drain that were blocking it with a bunch of rocks, so they sort of formed up in there. One of them looks like it's been in there for ages, and the other one's a little bit fresher. Um, but as I, as I was in there for that last dive, he started sneaking around, and he's literally sitting here right now watching me. We have to fly out of the pond real quick. Feeding him in 10 minutes is going to be really exciting. He's going to be really, really wound up, and um, I'm just blown away. These teeth are stuck in the drain and blocking it. 